At this point, you should have most of the server-side, Firebase, and Google stuff set up. So let's go back to our Android app and talk about what we need to do to get that ready for Google Login. The big picture goal is to get an OAuth token from Google and then hand that token over to Firebase. And this is all going to happen Android app side. Once you've gotten your OAuth token, the process is very similar to logging in with email and password. You call auth with OAuth token, then Firebase uses the OAuth token to get data from Google, after which Firebase creates for you that handy JWT and, of course, your auth data object. And then finally, you get your auth data object so that you can update your Android UI. Now, getting an OAuth token from Google requires a fair amount of boilerplate code. And I've linked a Google authentication example so you can take a look through it. But let's take a quick look at what's going on in our app. OK, so I'm in the login activity class. And if you scroll down, you'll see that here, prefaced by this large comment, is all of the boilerplate code that I took to get the token. So really, all of this code is just to get that OAuth token. And it's nothing too special, but you can read through it. Now, I've left the interesting part of connecting the OAuth token to Firebase for you to do. Now, there are a few more things that you need to do with Google, which are outlined in the Firebase and Google authentication, to be able to get that token. These include adding some libraries to Gradle, generating a config file, and adding permissions to the manifest. I'll provide you with the links in the spec document with how to set all of that up. Once you've got the OAuth token, signing into Google is almost exactly the same as signing in with email and password. Instead of an email and password, though, you provide the provider name, which in this case is Google, and that special OAuth token. The result handler works exactly the same, though. If the user is logged into Google and gives Shopping List++ all the correct permissions, then on Authenticated will be called, and you'll have that handy-dandy auth data parameter. You should do the same thing with a user who logs in via Google as a user who logs in with email and password. Your app should send them to the main activity and not take them back to the login page if they click the back button. Okay, let me send you the spec.